What's going on guys, Satsuki the Savage here and today I'm going to be giving my first impressions of Assassin's Pride. So this anime drew me in with its synopsis but we're going to jump right into talking about the series. We are set in a world where magic or mana exists exclusively to those of noble class. We follow Kufa Vampire who is a full time assassin and part time tutor. Kufa is assigned to mentor Melida Angel for three years but with one caveat. If she shows no promise in magic, Kufa must assassinate her. The premise of Assassin's Pride is pretty interesting on the surface, but once you think about it just a little, it becomes simple. There is no way Kufa is going to kill Melida, at least not until the series is near its end, so that already eliminates a sense of danger that we're supposed to have for Melida. Now knowing this doesn't make this series bad, it just makes it a bit predictable, which may turn people away from the series. On the other side of the spectrum, since Melida is not talented, we have a story where she has to prove herself, and I can always appreciate a series where the MC has to overcome the hurdles they were dealt. Migrating to the characters, the only two I'll be talking about are the main characters, Kufa and Melida. Kufa falls into the stoic badass archetype, which isn't a negative because I actually enjoy him as a character. I appreciate that although Kufa seems unemotional at times, he doesn't feel totally apathetic. Kufa has his cold personality due to his profession, but there appears to be more facets to his character. I also like how Kufa brings a mature balance to the series. Since Kufa plays the role of Melida's teacher, he has a lot of knowledge and wisdom, so most most of the time, we are learning about the world and the intricacies of other odd subjects through him. As for Melida, she is the underdog of the series and she is someone I am happy to root for. Melida has been a target of bullying due to the juxtaposition of her high aristocrat status and her absence of talent. I find it easy to follow Melida because she is a true underdog. Melida bust her ass training and her position wasn't due to any lapse in effort. It was purely because she was not born gifted. Besides that, Melida is a pretty decent character. At times, she could be a pushover, but given her power standing, that's realistic and understandable. However, Melida does show fervor in key moments. One subtle example of this is when she refuses Kufa's hand and stands on her own two feet. That small gesture shows me that Melida isn't going to be confined to some spoiled princess role, so I have hope that her confidence will build and she'll grow into a good character. As for the character dynamic between Kufa and Melida, the only way I can describe it is weird as hell. Kufa is the perfect gentleman and is protective of Melida, but then you remember his objective. If the situation goes left, Kufa's job description entails that he must assassinate Melida, which makes for an awkward relationship. Also, there seems to be some sort of romantic undertone between Kufa and Melida, albeit one-sided, but it's still bizarre considering the age gap. I don't know where the series is going with that thread, but this element doesn't have the potential to break the series anyhow, so it's something that I can pass over. EMT Swear is animating the series and judging their track record, that may not be a good thing. Going off the ratings provided by my anime list, which you can take or leave, EMT Swear has not animated a single series with a score above a seven. This includes Assassin's Pride currently. Now, could Assassin's Pride be an exception to the studio's shit stained reputation? Sure, but right now, it's not on pace to be. There have been a couple of fights already, and while they didn't wow me visually, it was still enjoyable. Assassin's Pride is directed by Kazuya Ira, who has been an episode director for a couple of series, the most notable being coincidentally Assassination's Classroom, but this is his first time being the director of a series. As for the source material, Assassin's Pride has a light novel as well as a manga. They are both ongoing and have a decent to good rating, so that's something to look forward to. But for you to make your own judgment on this series, you can stream Assassin's Pride on Verve, Crunchyroll, and High Dive. Overall, I think this series is going to be pretty decent. I think its ceiling is good. I don't think it's going to be great by any stretch of the imagination. So if you're just looking for an anime to pass the time, I recommend Assassin's Pride. But who knows, people may really enjoy this. It's all up to you to make your own decision on that. But guys, that's pretty much it for my first impressions. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Satsuki the Savage, out.